half your sprint's gone, and you're still explaining what you're building. Yep, welcome to product management. It happens to the best of us, and usually for one reason, not having a proper PRD. That's product requirements document. And this video is all about writing one the right way. I mean, the kind of PRD that actually makes life easier. Your devs just get on with it, your designers aren't guessing, and your stakeholders finally stop changing their mind every five minutes. Let's start with the basics. Think of a PRD as the product world's ultimate translator. It takes big, ambitious, and often messy ideas and turns them into a clear, buildable plan. It tells you what to build, why it matters, and how to make it happen. A great PRD also cuts confusion, avoids costly do-overs, and gets your product to market faster. In short, it's your blueprint for turning vision into victory. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, I need a PRD, but where do I even start? Most people think PRDs need to be these massive 50-page documents that nobody reads. Wrong. Let me break it down into a seven-step blueprint that actually works. Step one, define what you're actually building. We're building a productivity app. Sounds like you know what you're doing, but what does that actually mean? Generic descriptions are dangerous. They make everyone think they're on the same page until three months later when the designer's building a minimalist masterpiece and the developer's coding a feature heavy monster. So you need to get specific. Don't say productivity app. Say a task manager for remote teams who struggle with async communication, a time tracking tool for freelancers juggling multiple clients, a focus app for students who get distracted by literally everything. When you write it like that, suddenly everyone gets it. Step two, set goals that actually matter. Here's where most teams mess up. They set vague goals like increase user engagement. The fix is to get brutally specific. Instead of boost engagement, try minimize projection cost or increase CRM utilization rate. Now you're talking about smart goals that actually mean something and everyone knows exactly what winning looks like. Step three, face your real constraints. Every project has that moment when reality crashes the party. Someone casually mentions the budget got cut in half or that small regulatory requirement that changes everything. List them all out. How limited is that budget really? What's that compliance requirement everyone keeps whispering about? And who exactly created that timeline? Because I'm betting they've never actually built software. Those assumptions you're making, write them down too. Face these realities up front and you'll save yourself from those 2 a.m. emergency calls. Step four, define your scope and build your case. Feature creep is the silent killer of products. It starts innocently, yet six months later, your simple login page has somehow become a social network. Define what's in the product release criteria and what's out. Your future self will thank you when you're not working weekends because of one more small thing. And while you're at it, remember why you're building your product in the first place? We should build this because it's a good idea won't convince anyone to fund your project. You need to show your work. Why does this product need to exist right now? Maybe it was market research that exposed a glaring gap or customer feedback so compelling that it kept you up at night. This isn't just about building features. You're making a strategic move to position your company for success. Step five is to write clear and compelling user stories. As a user, I want to manage my tasks so that I can be productive. If you've written something like this, delete it right now. This tells your team absolutely nothing useful. What you should do is add context. As a freelance graphic designer juggling five client projects, I need to quickly see which tasks are blocking other people's work so I can prioritize what to tackle on a Monday morning. Now, your team knows they're building for a specific person with a specific problem in a specific context. Step six, detail every feature like your life depends on it. Don't just say social login. Instead, try Google login because nobody wants to create another password. See the difference? The takeaway is simple. For every feature you write, explain three things. Why it exists, how it works, what impact does it have on your users. Your development team needs to know exactly how things should work, how features connect, and what happens when something breaks, because something always breaks. Make sure you list exactly what success looks like for this specific feature. Step seven, establish success metrics that matter. Speaking of success, how will you know if you got the PRD right? Well, you need to establish success metrics that matter. Here's where most PRDs fall apart. You say, we'll know it's successful when users are happy. Now that's like saying, we'll know we're there when we arrive. Technically true, but completely useless. You need the specific metrics. Instead of improving user satisfaction, try this. Increase net promoter score from six to eight. Reduce support tickets by 30%. Hit $50,000 MRR by month six. Choose metrics that instantly tell you if you're fixing real problems or just building features that look good in demos. Now you've got your solid PRD framework. 
but managing all those moving pieces is where things get messy. User stories here, constraints there, goals somewhere else, and somehow trying to keep your dev team updated across multiple different platforms. This is exactly why we built ClickUp's PRD templates. Instead of wrestling with scattered documents, you get everything in one place. With ClickUp's product requirements document template, you can create your PRD in seconds. It's a fully customizable template that lets you outline all essential elements, such as who is involved, what will be done, why it's necessary, and how it will be executed. But what if you're working in an agile world where priorities change overnight and deadlines keep moving? Don't worry, ClickUp has your back here too. ClickUp's project management tool gives you 15 plus views and custom statuses to keep everyone on the same page. Change is inevitable, but with real-time updates in ClickUp Docs, you can tweak your PRD as fast as things shift. Need to align product development with strategic milestones? ClickUp Goals keep everything in sync, while ClickUp Brain, the world's most complete work AI, helps you generate roadmaps, test plans, and specs with minimal effort. Track progress easily with ClickUp dashboards and automate the boring stuff with ClickUp automations. Plus, it all integrates smoothly with GitHub and Slack. With ClickUp, you're giving your PRD superpowers. Look, we could keep talking about this all day, but your next big product idea is waiting. Turn your product dreams into holy cow, we actually shipped it reality. Sign up for ClickUp at ClickUp.com and follow us for more insider tips to simplify the world of work.